हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम टू हिट बुलजाई माय नेम इज़ मनीष और इस वीडियो में हम डिस्कस करने वाले हैं सेकेंड वीक ऑफ जुलाई 2022 के इम्पॉर्टेंट करंट अफेयर्स अगर आपने इस चैनल को सब्सक्राइब नहीं किया है सो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल एवरी वीक वी पोस्ट सच इन्फॉर्मेटिव वीडियोस विच आर हेल्पफुल नॉट ओनली टू दोज हु आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर सम कंपेरेटिव एग्जाम बट ऑल्सो टू दोज हु आर जेन्यनली क्यूरियस टू नो अबाउट द हैपनिंग्स इन इंडिया एंड अराउंड द वर्ल्ड सो इन दिस वीडियो ऑल्सो वी विल सी टेन इंपॉर्टेंट डिवेलपमेंट्स फ्रॉम द लास्ट वन वीक विच यू शुड नॉट मिस लेट्स सी स्टार्टिंग विद द फर्स्ट वन द वर्ल्ड पॉपुलेशन डे 2022 ट्वेंटी टू द वर्ल्ड पॉपुलेशन डे टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू हमने मनाया ग्यारह जुलाई को तो वी विल सी सम इम्पॉर्टेंट फैक्ट्स अबाउट दिस डे नेक्स्ट इज योर विम्बल डन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू सो विम्बल डन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू इज यू नो अ वेरी प्रेस्टिजियस इवेंट इन लॉन टेनिस सो वी विल हैव अ लुक एट विम्बल डन देन फादर ऑफ इंडियन इंटरनेट बी के सिंगल हैज पासड अवे we will see who bk single was and why is he known as the father of indian internet then india's longest double decker bridge has been inaugurated in nagpur so we will see what is important about this and how long this bridge is how is this important in india's overall scheme of infrastructure development next tesla ceo elon musk has terminated the deal to buy twitter to humne kuch hafte pehle jab ye deal originally sign hui thi we had discussed that elon musk is going to buy twitter for 44 billion dollars but as it turns out now he has refused to buy it due to certain problems we will understand what those problems are and how it is going to uh, create or it is going to open flood gates of litigation you know between both uh, the twitter and mr musk then nift panchkula has been officially inaugurated the national institute of fashion technology ek aur on inaugurate hua hai in the panchkula which is a city in haryana next campaign har ghar tiranga since we are going to complete the 75 years of independence next month center government has decided to launch this scheme so we will see what this scheme is and we will also have a brief look at the flag code of india then the president of sri lanka mr gotabaya rajapaksa has resigned and he has fled in fact last week we saw some images which were funny as well as uh, you know disturbing at the same time because many people in sri lanka have entered the presidential palace and some were you know taking a dive in the president's swimming pool some were sitting in the office of the president some are lying on the you know in the in the bedroom of the uh, the president the point is uh, perhaps the people are so fed up in sri lanka the economic situation has become so dire that uh, uh, you know it is that's why i say it is funny as well as disturbing at the same time it shows the disconnect between the establishment and the people on whom they are ruling so amid all this he has fled away and uh, to maldives and also the prime minister ranil vikramasinghe has also announced his retirement so now what's going to happen is uh, emergency is going to be imposed in sri lanka and a new leader is going to take over perhaps and finally a very important news gender gap report 2022 by world economic forum this is what is going to be discussed first world population day so world population day is celebrated or commemorated on 11th of july on 11th of july and world population right now is somewhere near 7.5 billion and india is at 1.4 billion so that means approximately 1/6 of the global population resides in india so 1/6 or you know even a bit more than that resides in india and uh, china and india together constitute approximately 40% of the world population so india is the second most populous country in the world or world population day india ke context mein thoda zyada important ho jata hai and also it is projected that within the next 2 to 3 years india is going to take over or overtake china in maximum population so that is something uh, not to be regarded as an achievement i would say unless we can convert that demography into a demographic dividend but if we are not able to do that then the same dividend can become into a can be you know can convert itself into a disaster as well so we should be mind mindful of that as well so world population day on 11th of 
July right that much is what you should know right so it is a world of it's a world of uh, the theme this year is is saal ka theme kya hai world population day ka a world of 8 billion towards a resilient future for all harnessing opportunities and ensuring rights and choices for all so this is the theme right to a world of 8 billion towards a resilient future for all harnessing opportunities and ensuring rights and choices for all this is the theme for this year so uh it was founded in 1989 by the then governing council of united nations development program the undp jo hai wo celebrate karta hai world population day pehli baar ye observe kiya gaya tha 11 july 1990 ko when it was observed in more than 90 countries right so united nations fund for population or united nations population fund unfpa is the uh, nodal office for this right the purpose is not to uh, celebrate that we are more in population the purpose is to uh, you know to make us aware about the quality of population that we should not allow population to be you know to like boomerang we should control that population in a proper manner and it is happening now i think india although census to nahi hua hai 2021 mein due to covid 19 and all but from various surveys it is known that the population growth rate is consistently slowing down as the economic progress is going up as the literacy level is going up the level of growth or the rate of growth is marginally going down and that is a good news for us and it is not only true for india it's true for the entire world in fact which is a good thing otherwise population explosion is of no use to anyone next is wimbledon 2022 so one of the four major grand slam events in the year in lawn tennis so these two are the winners of wimbledon 2022 so him i think is not a surprise winner mr djokovic i think uh, has a record of winning the maximum uh, grand slam titles this is his 21st title not a uh, not a surprise of sorts but she is a definitely a surprise so it's a first grand slam i think so novak djokovic is the winner and he defeated nick kyrgios but she is from kazakhstan and she is elena ribakina right and she has defeated ons jabio to win the women singles title so elena ribakina is the clear uh, surprise uh, here he of course is not a surprise so mr jokovic along with uh, roger federer and rafael nadal i think they have won a fair number of grand slams at least 20 each so this is his 21st title and her first title at the wimbledon also wimbledon is played in england the all england uh, lawn tennis and cricket club and uh, it's played on grass it is played on grass right these are some of the important facts that you should know moving ahead so mr b k singhal is or was known as the father of indian internet and he has recently passed away so mr b k singhal or brijendra k singhal was the former chairman of videsh sanchar nigam limited vsnl and as a chairman of vsnl he had played an important role in uh, you know spreading the uh, reach of internet throughout india so he had been acknowledged as the father of indian internet and he was known for his strong views and fearlessness in taking on the establishment that is a different though matter though so as the chairman of vsnl he was unofficially known as the bulldozer for his ability to push through bureaucratic hurdles to uh, you know uh, to uh, to cut the red tape and to get things done so he had done a lot in spreading internet throughout india and that is why he is known as the uh, what you call uh, the father of indian internet right so just the name that you need to remember next india's longest double decker bridge although it may look like a very simple news but uh, when something is unique india's longest largest tallest or first ever these kind of facts are really uh, important from exam point of view so national highways authority of india ne ise inaugurate kiya hai nagpur mein 
it's just a 3.14 kilometers long uh, uh, bridge but it is a double decker bridge and it has been constructed by NHEI National Highways Authority of India along with Maharashtra Metro and this is a world record this is a world record for constructing the longest double decker viaduct right so it has also been recognized by Asia Book of Records and India Book of Records so it's really important eh? because it has made it to the record books and it's in Nagpur that is what you should remember then again as we had discussed Mr. Elon Musk the richest uh, man in the world according to the Bloomberg index and also the highest paid CEO of 2021 he had earlier on agreed to buy uh, Twitter for 44 billion dollars but now he has terminated the deal right so he has decided to suspend the deal due to multiple breaches of the purchase agreement so there was a purchase agreement between mr musk and twitter in which mr musk had asked twitter to give a list of frivolous accounts which are around five percent of the total twitter accounts in millions which uh, presumably Twitter could not provide. The Twitter will list provide nahi kar saka jo frivolous accounts ki thi and that's why he has refused to buy it. So Twitter uh, shares, yes, it, it had a huge impact on the shares of Twitter. It tanked and uh, closed down 11%. 11% is a huge fall for uh, the stocks of a company. On the other hand, the Tesla stocks went up. So this will also be another uh, issue that will be taken up in litigation because definitely there's going to be litigation he has signed a deal and now he has refused to complete it so definitely litigation to hogi hogi and this will be a point that will be considered ki iski wajah se twitter ki reputation bahut down hui hai uske shares gir gaye hain jabki tesla ke shares high ho gaya upar ho gaye so that is something to be discussed in the future next NIFT Panchkula has been officially inaugurated. So just like there are Indian Institutes of Technology, Indian Institutes of Management, there is National Institute for Fashion Technology, NIFT. And this is the 17th campus of NIFT in India. 17th campus. It was opened by Haryana Chief Minister Manohar Lal Khatta and Union Minister Piyush Goel. So we had also discussed this news last year when its foundation stain, stone was laid by the then textile minister Ms. Smriti Irani. But now it has been inaugurated by Commerce and Industry Minister Mr. Piyush Goel and he referred to it as the fulcrum of development of the textile sector in the state. The National Institute of Fashion Technology is the fashion or textile sector to promote karne ke liye kafi helpful. Hai. It uh, you know trains people in different types of fashion uh, sense fashion technology and it also helps grow the textile sector in a particular state. And this is the 17th campus in India. These are facts that you need to remember. Next campaign Har Ghar Tiranga. So the Har Ghar Tiranga campaign has been launched by the center government due to the 75th Independence Day celebrations in India to encourage citizens to raise the national flag at their residences to infill uh, to you know to fill the citizens with the feeling of uh, uh, you know Desh Bhakti ki Bhavna Jagane ke liye you can say. So the government will launch this campaign and it was launched under the auspices of Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav which is the overall theme of the Independence Day and the nodal ministry is Ministry of Culture. This is important. So which ministry is going to organize this entire campaign? It is the Ministry of Culture and the flag code of India 2002 is the guiding force behind all this like what should be the size of the flag where can you uh, hoist it where you cannot hoist it the way you have to conduct it you know these are the protocols hai. the guidelines on the usage of exhibition of and hoisting of the Indian national flag is taken care of by the flag code of India 2022 next is your uh, Yes, President Gotabaya Rajapaksa has resigned and he has fled to Maldives. Abhi kai ba, kai log ye bhi keh rahe hain ki ye speculation hai ho sakta hai wo Maldives na gaye ho. Who knows? Maybe. 
right but here is mr gota by rajapaksa and he is no longer to be seen in sri lanka because thousands of people are about to kill him that's why he led he fled from there right so gota by rajapaksa his brother mahinda rajapaksa who was the prime minister of sri lanka earlier had already resigned and in his place mr ranil vikramasinghe had become the prime minister par ab situation itni zyada out of hand ho gayi hai ki ab inhe unhe bhi resign karna pada hai so now there is no prime minister no president in sri lanka right now right he has refused to say, he has decided to step down and pave transfer of power iske piche bhi badi interesting baat hai that why he first fled and then resigned पहले रिजाइन करके क्यों नहीं गए बिकॉज अ प्रेजिडेंट इंजॉयज लीगल इम्यूनिटी तो अगर वो पहले रिजाइन कर देते तो हो सकता है उन्हें कंट्री छोड़ने ना दिया जाता सो एज अ प्रेजिडेंट ही हैड सम लीगल इम्यूनिटी ही कुड नॉट बी अरेस्टेड जस्ट लाइक इंडियन प्रेजिडेंट ऑल्सो इंडियन प्रेजिडेंट इंजॉयज इम्यूनिटी एंड द इंडियन प्रेजिडेंट कैन नॉट बी अरेस्टेड इवन इफ ही हेज कमिटेड अ क्राइम जब तक वो प्रेजिडेंट हैं तब तक एंड दिस प्रोटेक्शन इज नॉट गिवन टू द पर्सन दिस प्रोटेक्शन इज गिवन टू द ऑफिस ऑफ प्रेजिडेंट ऑफ इंडिया right so once the president resigns or once he is removed then uh, legal proceedings can be initiated but he took advantage of this provision in sri lanka also there is such provision to pehle wo country chhod ke gaye taki legal immunity bani rahe and then he resigned that is a tactic right he is thought to have intended to leave sri lanka before resigning in order to avoid the risk of being arrested because he is the president and is therefore immune from arrest so that is the point right if you want to make sense of why he did that because he enjoyed immunity as the president and in this particular hala balu mr ranil vikramasinghe also uh, you know has been sacrificed you can say so he has also resigned mr vikramasinghe he just became the prime minister i think a month back when mahinda rajapaksa had to step down due to protests but he also has resigned as the sri lankan prime minister taki ek all party government can take over that is the only arrangement that is possible right now it's not easy to conduct elections in such an environment when people are uh, people do not have even uh, basic necessities to be fulfilled sri lanka mein aaj ki date mein ye halat hai ki logo ke paas khane ke liye proper khana nahi hai people are eating on alternate days so that their children can be fed and fuel is in utter uh, you know uh, fuel is not available there its supplies uh you know hugely restricted it has it, sri lanka has defaulted on its uh, commitments uh, in securities also so it's a default country you can say right now financially and finally a very important news world economic forum releases the gender gap report every year so this year is the 16th edition of it and uh, this is the 2022 edition of the report so gender gap report means that how far is the gap between males and females of course the gender gap so india ka rank isme uh, acha nahi aaya hai you know it's not a very good rank out of 146 countries india's rank is 135 135th rank aaya hai india ka and uh, world economic forum releases it wef aur iske char criteria hote hain राइट सो वन इज इकोनॉमिक पार्टिसिपेशन ऑन अपॉर्चुनिटी कि मेल्स और फीमेल्स में इकोनॉमिक पार्टिसिपेशन और अपॉर्चुनिटी कितनी ज्यादा है तो इंडिया काफी पीछे है उसमें सो इट्स हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टी थर्ड पोजिशन आउट ऑफ वन फोर्टी सिक्स कंट्रीज यानी कि वन ऑफ द वर्स्ट परफॉर्मिंग कंट्रीज इज इंडिया देन एजुकेशनल अटेनमेंट में थोड़ा सा कम हैज कंपेयर टू यानी कि मेल और फीमेल में काफी ज्यादा गैप है अभी भी सो दैट मीन्स इन इंडिया इकोनॉमिक पार्टिसिपेशन एंड अपॉर्चुनिटी is quite visible in males whereas not so in females educational attainment bhi males ko zyada milti hai health or survival mein last rank aata hai hamara is the last rank of india out of 146 countries we are at 146 in health and survival which is a you know worst possible rank lekin political empowerment mein thoda sa rank hamara acha hai political empowerment matlab uh, what is the representation of women and in the elected offices at the local level at the state level at the center level so i think that the women's reservation uh, in the local body elections i think is one of the reasons why we have such a good rank at least in panchayats and municipalities we have 33% of seats reserved for women uh, across all the states 
and i think that perhaps is one of the reasons why we have good rank in this criteria otherwise baki sabhi criteria mein the rank is quite dismal that we have so it is the worst performer in the health and survival sub index where it is rank 146th to kafi bura rank hai india ka agar best countries ki baat kare so again as i always tell you the the scandinavian countries take the cake first rank iceland second finland third norway fourth new zealand and fifth sweden these are the top 5 countries on the list in gender uh, you know gap report that means iceland finland norway sweden in countries mein gender gap is non existent so it does not matter you are a male or a female you will get equal economic participation equal educational attainment equal health and survival and political empowerment that is a level of uh, uh, you know intellectual growth those people have reached the gender does not matter and it should be the case that is the ideal scenario that every country in the world should strive to achieve so that is the gender gap report and some important facts about it right that is all in the second week of july i'll see you in the next week also agar aapko video achhi lagi ho please hit the like button subscribe to the channel if you have any inputs or if you want to share anything please let us know in the comments below thank you so much and i'll see you in the next week this is me manish mittal signing off